And I'm now delighted to be joined by Liam Mulligan, who is an A2 rep for um, Bonkrana, uh, south, south in the uh, area. Uh, Liam, you're very welcome to the Irish Political Roundup. Uh, we're here at the A2 conference. I suppose when we talk about Donegal, we can't talk about... Um, can't talk about it without the the whole um, defective blocks and the re- redress scheme that is in place, which is is causing a lot of difficulty for for people. It's horrendous. I mean, to be quite honest, the government has been running away from this problem for over ten years, and is doing its best not to help to hinder everything uh, that the people are need in order to sort out the problems. All the rebuilds are needed, all the repairs that are needed. Its whole approach is to make it difficult. They talk in England about a hostile environment. Yeah. They, ever, there is no help coming from the government. Even the amount of money is deliberately designed not to be sufficient uh, for the job. I have here this people's document Mm -hmm. which was produced by the campaign groups uh, for the defective blocks and there's four principles involved a property that the property be rebuilt as it should be the process that it be a helpful process and it help the people to support the individual people and to prevent it in the future those four principles come down to 47 individual points and i could talk here five or ten minutes on every one of those points but the essential problem is that the government is not keen on helping the people if the government needs to change over its whole mode to actually put people in to help people sort out the problems. And this is the, what the people, especially in Inishon, which is the epicentre of the problem, but all over North Donegal. And it is a similar problem we are seeing now with pyrites in Mayo and Sligo, in Clare and Limerick, and in the southeast. And it's a, related to the problems of the defective buildings, the defective apartment buildings in Dublin, of the government not doing its work. Mm and not willing to be brought to account for not doing its work. And just to give our listeners an idea, when we're talking about defective blocks, when the houses were built and then over time yeah. they, they just started to crumble, it did like they break they like like a like a, like a Weetabix. The Weetabix is the most extreme version of it. Even at that, without getting as far as Weetabix, you have cracks appearing, you have ingress of damp, you have rooms becoming uninhabitable, you have uh, the windows becoming separated. As someone said, they have to put uh, coats into the gap between the windows and the wall in order to keep the weather out in the winter. And these people still have to prove with Kemp, with uh, they have to bring 6,000 or something to the table. And in the initial proposal effectively it cost them 22,000 to approach the government for help it's improved since then there are more but they're still very very difficult and there are so many houses and what basically you have you are there with your house you're at the pin of your collar but you have a home a refuge for your family and you have an asset that at least your money is going into something that you can realise. Now you have something that's a threat to your family, a physical threat to your family, and it's worth less than nothing. They talk about negative equity when the house is worth less than the mortgage. The house is now worth less than nothing. And people are still paying mortgage on it. People are still paying mortgages, and now they have to pay to have it demolished and hauled away before they can get to the zero point that they can start building again. So this is the horror, and then you have the, what do they call it, the impersonal malice of the bureaucracy in dealing with it. And then on top of that, you have the what's coming every, everywhere, the immigration problem. Yeah. The immigration problem is not the immigrants. Yeah. The immigration problem is the housing. Yeah. You, we have not done enough on housing for our own people. Then IPAS has been absolutely ruthless in just hoovering up accommodation. Students' accommodation, purpose-built student accommodation, has been hijacked. And of course, so Donegal, the Donegal tourism is, is, is big, and it's hotels, hotels have been taken in. Donegal. There's promises, to, but the, purely on the housing part of it. And then we have the people who need to, ch- to rebuild their homes under the uh, defective blocks. They have to find housing. Okay. And 
on top of that with the migration, obviously Leo Varadkar made big noises and Simon Harris would have been backing him up and Michael Martin would have been backing him up that there would be extra money for, med- for GPs and primary care, there would be extra money for schools, there would be extra money for all those resources that are taken yeah. up a huge effort in the region and they have not appeared. Yeah. And because Donegal has a lot of hotels, a lot of hotels have been taken, which means we have an overproportional number of refugees compared to the population, which means we have more pressure on our schools, more pressure on our GP services. And these are all the things. It is not the migrants' fault. The government does not do its housing properly. It does not take care of the trading standards for materials properly. It does yeah. not do immigration properly. It does not spend the money. And these all come together in this huge problem. And can it, what policies would aim to have to address these issues? Well, the first policy is we have to recognise that we have no budget surplus because we do not only need a fund for the future, we need a fund for the past. Yes. We need to take all those issues that the government didn't spend on in its bad management of the boom and its bad management of the bust. We need to ta- and we have to make up for those. And that's what we're facing with the defective block scheme. We have a huge we have to give it a budget, we have to give it a team, yeah. extra personnel, not just the current county council. I imagine personnel. Donegal County Council for they, the best way in, in the world don't the they don't have the people to, to do, do the, the job. You have to bring in a team and a, and a prop prima with the right skills to go out and help people sort the things yeah. out. It has to go over from constantly questioning to actually going out and helping people proactively to solve their problems in a sensible way yeah. and not be stopping them in a bureaucratic way. And similar as Padre Tobin has said, we need to enforce the regulations and the laws we have on immigration now. Yeah. There's no point <laughs> having rules and regulations they are not enforced. I know for personal reasons that this is a 25, minimum, a 25-year-old problem. Yes. That because of judicial decisions in the 90s, that the governments didn't provide the money to provide the personnel, the resources that were needed to operate mm. the systems, this mm. is all built up and built up and built up and built up because the, it, it is a hygiene issue, it's an issue that no one sees until you hit a crisis. Yes, yes. And how long have you been a member of Aintu? I've been a member of Aintu almost since the start for over five years. I stood in the last local elections. Um, basically, I want a party that looks at the facts, looks at the facts objectively and takes a common sense attitude. Mark, politics has become a branch of marketing yeah. where we are talking about image, we're talking about soundbite, we're talking about nice rewards. Yeah. And we have to get back to the system where politics is about sorting out, we will always have problems. Yes dealing with those problems factually and in a common sense way and that's why I'm an into It's about substance over style not style over substance Well, uh, Liam, Not TikTok t-shirts <laughs> Yeah exactly <laughs> exactly. Well Liam thanks a million for okay. taking the time to okay, chat to us you. here in um, on the Irish Political Round and if people want to find out more about uh, the People's there Document well how, can they, how can they do so? It can be found online but you just look up the People's Document and any of these MICA action group uh, groups like that in Donegal that have been working on this area and that is available online. Well, we wish you the yeah. best, best of luck and thanks a million for taking the time to talk to you. Thank you.